Now available in paperback and Kindle, vampires stalk the darkness of the Eternal Night. Get your copy of Eternal Night in paperback and Kindle on Amazon.com. What is the meaning of life? That is a question many have asked. Now, I believe that the meaning of life is related to the spiritual, and I believe that the meaning of life is related to God. Now, I believe that God has put man here on earth to make a choice. And I believe that choice is related to whether he wants to choose God's gift of salvation and receive eternal life, or if he wants to refuse that gift of eternal life and continue to wander in darkness. I believe that the reason why God put man here on earth was because he wanted to see if man would choose between him and choose between living in sin. Now your man has been born in sin as default, but God gives men free will, and because the Most High gives men free will, he gives man an opportunity to choose between whether he wants to serve God or he wants to go out here and serve mammon. Now, no man can have two masters. He will either love one or hate and hate the other. And your mankind has been given a choice of whether it wants to go out here and serve God or if it wants to continue going on to live in sin. Now, the Most High sent his son to, to die on the cross to pay everybody's sin debt in full if they, serve, if they take his gift of salvation. Now, if you take God's gift of salvation, you are assured a place with him and you are assured a place in his kingdom. And in that kingdom, you are assured eternal life where you will go on to live for all eternity. Now, most people, they think that this life is the only life, but this life is not the only life. It is only a short-term thing, and the only reason why you are here on this earth is because you are here to make that choice of whether you want to have eternal life with the Most High, or if you want your soul to wander in darkness with Satan. So this is the only reason why you are here on earth is to make this choice. And many people sadly take this choice that they have for granted. They think that this life is the only life and they live for the cares of the world. It's like the sower in the parable of the sower that Jesus talked about, how some people, as they're out here, they're looking, living for the cares of the world, and they don't receive the gospel. Then there are others who get choked up in, because they're caught up in things, and then there are those who wind up having a hard time and walking away from the gospel. So all of these different types of people, they wind up losing in the end because they're caught up in this world, and they really do not understand the overall context of time as related to the Most High. Now, most people who get caught up in the cares of this world, all they're thinking about is the 120 years that man has been given by God, not understanding that 1,000 years in the eyes of God is just a day. So your 120 years are nothing more than a faint memory in the eyes of God, but a lot of people don't understand that you taking your life for granted here, it, it'll just turn your life into a memory because you're nothing to the Most High Living God who created you, and your lifespan is nothing in His eyes. I mean, a lot of people get caught up in their accomplishments in this world not thinking about how they're going to spend their eternity. Instead of them thinking about how they're going to spend their eternity, they think about the now and not the later. And because they're not thinking about the later, they're not thinking about receiving God's gift of salvation, which is free and assures you 
a place with him and that place can never be taken away from you because once you give your life to the Most High and his son, you wind up with your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life and you are guaranteed a place in God's kingdom for eternity. And most people don't understand, again, the context of time, so they're not really thinking about how God's gift of salvation is important to them because you're, we're, when we live on this earth, we're only here for a moment to make that choice. Then we go back to the Most High. And this is stated in, I believe it's the Proverbs, where Solomon states that the day of a man's death is better than the day of a man's life. And the reason why the day of a man's death is better than the day of a man's life is because on that day he leaves this earth and on that day he goes to be with the Most High Living God. And that is a joyous day because you are going back to be in the presence of God and you are going to take account for this life that you had in the world. And the most important accomplishment you could have on this earth is that day you give your life to the, to the Most High Son and you take his gift of salvation because on that day you are sealed spiritually and you are a member of God's order from that day forward. So that's one, the other day that is extremely important because on that day you become a part of the body of Christ and when you become a part of the body of Christ nobody can sever you from God and at that point you are guaranteed eternal life and again people take this life for granted they don't appreciate the gift that God has given them in physical life because physical life is all about you making the choice of whether you want to have an eternal spiritual life with God and a true loving God gives you that choice because other creatures don't get that choice. I mean, animals don't get that choice, but human beings are given this great choice of whether they want to choose to be with the Most High or if they want to choose to stay in darkness. And a lot of people, again, they take that choice for granted in whether they get to choose. They just sit there and think, oh, this life is about the now and me getting what I want here, these so-called riches and success. But all of those things are nothing to God because as the provider of all resources, these are merely crumbs to him because all of this stuff comes from the dust and back to the dust it will eventually go. And that's why it, our choice here on earth is the most important because with everything going back to the dust and as it's stated in the revelation all of this will be destroyed by fire the only thing that will be left for anyone will be everything as related to the spiritual and that is why you need to get your soul right with god because everything on this earth is nothing but a vapor as ringo talked about in one of his videos and again, as I saw it, it's nothing more than a distant memory to the Most High because again, if a thousand years are a day to him, what is 120 years of a human's life in his eyes? I mean, that's absolutely nothing and all of your so-called accomplishments are absolutely nothing to the Most High because he was the one who gave you this knowledge to do on earth and if he can give you if he can give you this small amount of knowledge to do things then there must be things greater in his kingdom than anything on this earth and that's something people really don't think about as related to the most high and things that he has done and they're not thinking about how great the most high is i mean if you think i think about there was one chapter where he uh in the acts of the apostles where the Holy Spirit practically teleported um, this guy to one of the apostles over to the um, eunuch in, I believe it was the Ethiopian eunuch, and who was reading Isaiah, 
to baptize him. I mean, if the Holy Spirit can take a person from one land to another in just a thought, I mean, the power of the Most High is incredible when I think about it. And the things that people, they take for granted here on earth, they, they think that, oh, that the Most High is nothing. They think he is insignificant, but he grants you an opportunity to whether you want to serve him or be a part of him. They take that choice for granted. They think it's a small choice, but no, it is a great choice because you are choosing between whether you want to have eternal life and be a part of God's kingdom, or if you want to be cast into darkness. And that's a choice that many people take for granted and they don't really appreciate until they realize that it's too late. And that's one of the things that people have to really think about as related to the meaning of life. The Most High has given you one of the greatest opportunities of all to in this world, and you just can't take it for granted because this one choice can be the difference between your eternity in light or your eternity in darkness. And that's something many people, they really need to appreciate about this choice because every aspect of your meaning in this world is connected to it and every aspect of who you are is connected to it because if you don't choose the right make the right choice and join the most high you are going to wind up in darkness for all eternity and that's something many people really aren't thinking about because they're caught up in the 120 years of this life not understanding that eternity is forever. Now, if you want to see me make more videos like this, you can donate to my Patreon, my PayPal, or my Cash App by clicking the links in the description box. And if you want to pick up some of my books on the SJS Direct imprint, you can find those books on Amazon.com and paperback and Kindle format. You can also find them on Smashwords, the iBook Store, and Google Play. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available, paperback and e-readers, Isis, Bride of Dragon, Goddess Next Door, and John Haynes team up to take on the Dark Vampire in this action-packed Isis series adventure. Get Isis, Bride of Dragon, paperback and e-readers at online booksellers today.